Good morning and welcome back to the farm. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. I'm doing great. Um, sorry, welcome back to No Man's Land. I um, I am a bit confused here because it says that it's time to harvest soybeans and I almost forgot about it. I was just, uh, previous month, I cut the grass over at field 46 and now I uh, fertilized it and I'm like, okay, moving on to November, making a video about the final cut, but no, I checked the map and it turns out definitely need to cut the soybeans or harvest the soybeans. So we'll be doing that. I will set up a course, but I will probably do it kind of semi-manually. So let's get started on that, shall we? How are you guys doing? Are you having a good time? I'm doing great. Why can't I set up a course? Um, oh, sorry. I have to... There. There, there. There. Opening. 5 meter width, multiple tools, no, let's do two headlands just for fun, uh, 10 overlap, make it a sharp cornering, make it clockwise, I uh, think I make it counterclockwise actually, because this side of this field is steeper than the other, so it's easier to go down um, yeah, let's do that. Um, up and down. Okay, so we start somewhere over here, I think. And uh, there. Okay, this is field 25 something. I guess it's this one, maybe. Uh, save course. Uh, harvest. 5M. First waypoint. Interesting to see how much we get out of this. Getting this little thing ready here. I've set up the course for course play on these two fields as well. I'm doing two headlands and then the center fields on each of the fields um, and it leaves it, it it's a better cut than doing just up and down because up and down just cut into the outside as well which is why I have these pockets made where it won't do that or it does on those points but I stopped that from happening by doing what I'm doing just now so Philip is at fill level 10 percent 11 okay good now I realized last time I was harvesting my field uh, the wheat field here the benefit of using course play is that that one create a, a offloading pocket for you to offload the combine without damaging the crops when you drive onto it which is so awesome um, the the default helper doesn't do that but you know mods is there to modify the game and make it easier for you sometimes or challenging depending on which mods you choose to use so as it is right now we have oh, canola on this field yeah and we have that dude over there doing the job he has two fields to harvest and I have two fields of soybeans to collect I was just looking at the market and we can actually do that as we wait for him to fill up a little bit more and wouldn't you believe it there is actually a tractor available for less than 20,000 it's very high percentage off I mean it's a weak tractor I don't need it but still I'm surprised uh, this one would be nice to have because of the total amount of space involved to move silage probably can't load it fully but yeah it's just kind of too expensive the only thing i can afford on this list 
uh, is this one, and I really don't need that one. I already have one of these, so I don't need a second one. This one would be nice, this one would be nice. This one, yeah, I don't have any animals to transport. Really nothing else to do at the moment. Uh, the cut that I did on the field of grass is... It's giving me quite a lot of grass. I mean, yes, it's been a month in advance, but I'm, I'm looking at good numbers here. Um, I'm thinking like maybe 800,000 liters in total or something like that. And at, let's say, 180. So... Uh, yeah, a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, it's still early morning here, so please bear with me. I know it's not that early, but I've been up um, for a few hours already. I think that like he's at 42% doesn't fill up as quick as I thought. It's okay. Now the question is, what do I plant next time? Now this is Wednesday's video, so by all estimations, if my memory serves, I forgot to check it before I started recording, Precision Farming DLC should be out by now. Of course, I don't have it since I'm recording this on Monday, uh, just to make sure it's available for upload on Wednesday. So. I believe that, you know, with a precision DLC, things you have to look into is rotating your crops to keep the pH value of the soil correct and, you know, make sure it's nutritional enough and, and things like that. So with that in mind, what would be a good crop to plant here next? If we look at the list of what we have, we have a little bit of wheat and barley. We're getting canola coming in. We can do oats. We can do sorghum. Sorghum is to feed chickens, I think. If we look at um, animals, um, wheat, barley, and sorghum. So I can do that because I do plan to do um, chicken. I, I mean, I could do wheat and barley and get the straw, but again, I have no use of the straw at this time. So it kind of feel a little bit silly to do that just to get straw the only time i actually need the straw is if i get other animals like the cows not even the horses note those no yeah if i get cows which is way way off and me hoarding some bales until that point is silly so what would when so I might as well just sell those bales when it's the best time to do it. So when do you sell straw? It's in December. Doesn't give much. Forty seven thousand or forty three per thousand liters and each bale is eleven liters, so we're looking at maybe five hundred per bale and I have eight bales I think. So I mean yeah, it's a little bit of money. It's not, not a bad number to take it for what it is. So I could do that in the in December, maybe. What I'm going to do, now that I have two tractors, is that I will set up an autoplay course or autodrive course to have both tractors deliver the um, silage to the shop and sell it. So they just go around in a circle. Uh, it will be quicker than me doing it manually by myself. Uh, it's not that difficult to set up. I can basically set it up in the next episode when I will do the sell it sale. The sales is in January, I think, actually. Yeah, in January. So I will sell the the straw now in December, and then I will sell the silage in January. These stuff sells now in December, but again, there's not enough money to be worth it. I think I'm, I make more money by just 
keeping it for the chickens that I will get eventually. Maybe next year, once I sold all the silage. Did you make a pocket for me? No, you did not. Why did you not make a pocket? I thought that was the deal we had. I just told everybody that is watching this at some point that you create pockets. You're making me look bad, dude. Now I have to turn off your... Okay, so that's, that is being done. Let's go up here and all the way, please. <laughs> Next purchase, as I said, is either a bigger trailer or bigger combine. I think the trailer would be first and possibly also, as I mentioned, get started a little bit on, on the tree nursery, the forestry stuff, by getting the planter. And, and do some tree planting because that could be fun it's a side income that you know I can I can pull in like every three months or so it, I read it takes 30 months two and a half years for the crops to grow okay last waypoint get started okay and off he goes not sure if I remember that correctly, but I think it's two and a half years for each tree to be growing up. And since we got some time, let's still don't waste it too much. Yeah, spend 12 minutes recording something like that. So I'm thinking here, um, this between those two three tree uh, rocks here. Let's do this stuff, make it easier to view. So if I do rows of trees here, like four rows, um, let's say 10, 15 trees per row of American Elm. Uh, and then I, it's kind of straight lines, or I can make it straight lines, it's easy. Just line up the tractor, blah, blah, blah. And, and using the planter tool, it plants them at right distance from each other. Another way, or another thing I was thinking, which is more of a kind of a beautification kind of thing, is here along this road section, maybe some from somewhere around here and down, also plant some trees. Maybe not American Elm, maybe a tree that is more um, for keeping. Like, let's see, we have spruce, pine, those are to make money out of, stone pine, I don't know, birch, I like birch, they're nice looking trees, oaks, also kind of branchy out and big leafy tops, willows, willows are kind of cool, uh, maple, oh, speaking of maple, there is um, pagoda dogwood, I don't know what it looks like, chagback hickory, chagbark hickory, American elm. So I could plant some trees here, just to beautify the situation here. Uh, sorry, I cannot. I was outside my map. This is basically my map ends here, or my plot of land ends here, so I cannot do anything there. Let's see, moving over this way. No, it's too close to the fields. Okay, never mind. Forget what I said. What I can do, I can do it between the fields though. Plant some trees here for beautification. I doubt very much I'm going to combine what's here with what's here. Unless I place it in this direction. But then this wouldn't be smaller, so it wouldn't make much sense. So I'll just do it over here, I think. Um, yes. So, I said that there is a mod, it's a production mod, 
that I downloaded. I haven't used it. Um, I downloaded it because I might want to use it. The where is it? I love playing games on the PC because there's so much more opportunities to modify and improve the game in some way. Yeah, I got this as well as a so basically you can store about a hundred pallets of each product in here and then you just call it for when you want it out to load onto your vehicles. Um, haven't done that yet. I don't know if I will using it, but mm -hmm -hmm. it's not why we're here at the moment, is it? Okay, so it's not there. It's a selling point? No? It's a greenhouse kind of thing. Ah, there it is. Maple syrup farm. It's kind of big. It costs 16,000. Uh, basically produce maple syrup, as you can see. And I also had this mod, which is like an outdoor, uh, cheaper version of the, the greenhouses, which I now realize can have potatoes and sunflowers as well. Still need the same input as these greenhouses here, which is kind of cool. You know, seed, slurry, or fertilizer of some sort, water, and uh, this is fertilizer, manure. Yeah, you see, you, you know the pictures. This one just need water, so it's, it's nice. Um, let's see, a maple looks like that. Let's see, do we have a cell point for maple? Let's find out. I'm like a little bit all over the place on this one. Um, maple. Tomato. New. Wait, there it is. The shop is buying maple. It's not a bad price. Depending on how much you get from one of those, though. Oh. Sarah. I guess Philip didn't know how to handle it, so Sarah took over. I hope she knows how to handle this. Looks like she does. She saw her make a pocket and now she's backing up. Allowing me to pick up the the load. Thank you, sir. I guess it's just the first one that is slightly... me. I guess if I went clockwise it wouldn't be an issue because the pipe would be on the outside. Something to think about in the future. Will I change it up on the other field? Possibly. I see no reason why not, really, because that field is fairly, fairly flat. So it wouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, looking good. Two passes around the edge, and this one is 80%. Thank you, Sarah. I will drop this off in the silo and let you get back to your work. I do like a... I do like mods, and I do like farming sim. I hope that mods, or even Giant himself, will add more crop types to grow. There are some crop types I've never planted. Like in... Uh, I've never done sugar beet, uh, sugar cane. i never done the wine or olives. But... I will... At some point I will give it a shot, but there's a lot of other crop that you can plant that you can grow, like onions, leeks, radishes, uh, asparagus. I mean, asparagus is, from what I understand, it's a biannual crop or something, like you grow it and then it takes like two years before it's it's ready to be harvested the first time. 
don't know if it's a plant once harvest forever or if it's plant and replant stuff I'm not that familiar with the crop I did have, a, did have an allotment a couple of years ago where I used to live where me and my wife we grew our own vegetables cucumbers tomatoes um, lettuce carrots carrots could be added here cucumber could be added here beans pumpkins stuff like that pumpkins could be added uh, it was fun except for you know people kept stealing our shit which was you know, less than fun they stole our pumpkins and our um, squash they backed over our fence because they were too lazy to walk from the parking lot with their hand tools to their allotment so they felt like ah, we can park here there's a sweet spot of grass outside this allotment anyway and they had their dogs do their business inside our allotment mm, I mean, it was a sheep allotment it cost <coughs> like a hundred dollars a year to have it and it was quite big uh, but the government didn't do much it was government owned and controlled but it didn't do much about alleviating our concerns about the safety of it it's like you do it yourself um, so it, it was a poor uh, location for our allotment others had very nice allotments that were left alone they had a lot of things growing on them uh, berry bushes strawberries fruit trees things like that but our was in a corner of the lot next to a uh, what do you call it a suburban area suburban area so yeah people are dicks in general they don't understand the concept of yours and mine some things they're entitled to things just because they see it but it's fun to you know work in the soil every now and then you grow your own vegetables or food um, and, and see the the fruits of your labor we got tons of potatoes from that uh, little allotment the, the thing we did I saw uh, a guy doing it or talking about how to increase the yield of your potatoes it doesn't work on on big commercial fields I think it's too much work involved but if you have an allotment and you're doing it by yourself then it definitely works um, so the thing is that you plant your potatoes let me just get this lined up here there we go so you plant your potatoes and once they start showing a little bit of growth you cover the plant uh, like if it grows, I don't know, about 10 centimeters or 4 inches, then you cover the plant and let it grow again. And once it's back to being 10 inches above the soil, or oh, sorry, 10 centimeters or 4 inches above the soil, cover it again. Doing this will make the, the plant grow more potatoes, apparently. And it, we only managed to do it once um, before we had to move, but it worked that definitely worked for us we got a lot of potatoes from that so that was good doesn't work with all the crops though we got a little bit unlucky with our carrots okay you're just being silly But, yeah, I've never been inside a real tractor, or I've been on farms before when I was a kid, um, sort of like a summer home, um, something that happened where I live, the, the families, working families, they, they sort of drop the kids off at uh, summer camps, and sometimes summer families, um, so they could have some, you know, peace and quiet without a bunch of rowdy kids around. Uh, so me and my sisters we were dropped off at a farm at one point. It was not a fun thing. Um, 
the people that had the farm, they only took in the kids for the money, not to give them a, an escape from the city or anything like that. We were mistreated, I would say. Not, not sever severely mistreated, but it was from the get-go, it was not a fun experience. We were sleeping on a loft, that was our bedding, and it was basically not even, if I remember correctly, now it was many, many years ago, I don't think we really had beds. It was more of a, a sleeping mat, or kind of like a sleeping bag on a loft. Um, the milk that we got was straight from the cow's teeth, so it was not pasteurized, it was not chilled or anything, it was just, here, drink this. Breakfast was fried oatmeal. Basically, you boil the oatmeal, put it in a frying pan. Not that yummy, but, I mean, it didn't taste bad, but it wasn't like what we were ready for. Now, I've been on many different, growing up as a kid, we, kids, me and my sisters, we did spend the summer times in various summer homes, sometimes in summer camps, sometimes with summer families. But this was by far the worst experience I've ever had. Um, but there are those that have it worse. Always is. Always will be, sadly. It's not a competition, just a fact of life. But yeah, going back to the point I was making is i never really been on a farm. I really wish to go to a farm to see their equipment up close. Like, oh, I recognize that. And, oh, I know how to use that one in a game. Um, but, yeah, opportunities doesn't really present itself where I live now. Um, it's not farming country here in Singapore. But it's... The plans are to move at some point and hopefully uh, get a chance to visit farms. Now, why did you leave that spot empty? I'm kind of curious. Or. What's wrong with this one? That one. Guess the overlap is not enough, or is it the overlap that is causing this? The ten percent overlap on the headland is causing this issue. Maybe. I have to be careful when I drive around here, so I don't drive into those crop fields. Don't want to ruin the little piece of soybeans that I got. So, how about you guys? What crop do you want to see added to the game? Either by modders or by giants themselves. I've mentioned tomatoes, cucumber, leek, onions, kind of the same thing. Uh, I mean, talking either greenhouses or orchards or fields. There is also um, asparagus, pumpkins, squash. And, and various fruit trees, things like that, in the orchards, like cherries and apples. That would be cool to have. A lot of options. I understand some things cannot grow everywhere. Peanuts would be nice, maybe. Pineapples. I don't think the, the machinery is too much different to harvest a pineapple than it is to harvest a wine, or sorry, grapes or um, olives. It's just that it's lower because the pineapple is growing off like from the ground straight up, I think. Again, I've only seen the, the plants and the pineapples. I haven't seen the, the actual way to harvest it. But there is so much to do to farming that it's incredible. It's, it's a very rich world. 
the farming world. There are so many different types of farm, like tobacco and all that. I understand it's a PG PG3 game. I have to keep the, the ratings low to make it accessible to everybody. So some things are off limits, like, you know, you get grape juice from grapes. While in reality, you can get a lot of other stuff from grapes as well, grapes and raisins. Um, but, you know, I would like to see tobacco as well, tea leaves, rice, you know, all of this is totally, totally possible. I'm sure the engine can handle it. It's about adding the right tool and that's it. Giving a more versatility to the, the work life on a farm. You can focus a little bit more on what it is you want to do. I guess it's, yeah, man. So what do you want to see added to the game? Please let me know. Please like, subscribe and comment. And we'll see how it goes, right? And I will see you in the next episode, I hope, uh, which will be on Friday. I cannot guarantee it, but I hope by the time I record that, I think I will do the recording on Wednesday or possibly Thursday. Position farming is out. I have given it a little bit of try or read, read up a little bit about it. So I sort of know what to expect. And um, we'll take it from there, shall we? And in the next episode, I might do the final cut on the grass. So you can see the setup I did. Or I just bring you in when I set up the, the, the sales route. Anyway, we'll find out on Friday. Well, you'll find out on Friday. Till then, please take care. Bye-bye.